He jumps out on film. He, he's just so active and involved on both sides of the ball for these guys. Roach underneath with an answer. They made seven threes over the last two games coming into tonight. So we're tied it down against the call. No, well, Coswell still smiling about it. <laughs> Came up court. Five point Duke lead. Proctor. Trying to cross up Campion. Roach open. To hit. Largest lead for what he's shown so far, but. I think Tyrese is just the most complete guard in his league, if not the country. Uh, really underrated defensively, but if he takes on the toughest assignment against bigger wings and guards. That's how crazy. No, he is. He's fun to watch. Off the bounce, late shot clock, Roach. As he hits. But he was going to lose him for the way he sounded in the warm ups. <laughs> Better second half for Duke. Foster attacks. Proctor off the crossover on Campion. Sorry, Proctor's starting to feel it. Campion got a piece of it. Three to shoot. Here's Roach. And he has to get in between him and the basket. So he's tight to Yes, he's tight set. coming off, and he stays in front of that big. Because it's invaluable to this Duke's team. Jeremy Roach makes both. Gotta protect that guy. He is the one guy that's invaluable to, their, to this game. We were told before the season that they would play Filipowski a lot in what they call blue, which is like hedge and yes. touch a little bit, but it's not a, a super hard hand. Right. Just so he can recover. With Johnny Semeny and Luther Swift as well. And we hit the final half minute on this Friday night in Durham. Tale of two halves. No question. Roach. Got it to go, plus a foul. Is it two shots or underneath? 18 for Jeremy 